Good afternoon, beautiful ladies. I am so happy to be here. And as always, I'm very grateful for you being here as well. And I thank you, thank you, thank you for the continuous growth in this podcast. We are 12,000 downloads and still growing. So I'm really, really, really happy about that. And once again, thank you for tuning in, for sharing and giving us the comments that keep us fulfilled, I should say. It is gratifying to do this. And I must say my voice is a bit in and out, so bear with me. The topic for this episode is co-creating with the Divine Mother. Now it's early Thursday morning, lying in bed. That was yesterday. And it was raining softly, reflecting. And a lot of thoughts flowing through my mind. The ones that you try hard to stop, but it keeps expanding. And you know within your heart that something wonderful is unfolding. I had a pen and paper nearby just in case. And a story emerges from the deep recesses of my heart. Maybe you'd close your eyes and listen to this story. I was born inside a beautiful garden with everything I desire in it. It is just spectacular. Rich hues of every color. The sun piercing through spaces of shade. I'm gazing over the distance and there's water with crystals flowing on top. And the sound is just so comforting. It is so clear, inviting. And I know I love this space. Fast forward into real life. Life's tribulations create patches of dry land, weeds in this garden, and I forget all the splendor. Then one day I wake up and recognize that I must tend to that garden. I am no expert in gardening, but I can plant a thing or two. I purchase adequate tools. I begin to work. I make modicum progress, and I recognize this could take forever at the space. The distance from where I am to the side of love, hope, joy, abundance seemed far away. And then an angel appears and offering tools that could expedite and ease the work that I'm doing. My first inclination though was hesitation and I offer resistance, which ultimately underscores the point of blocking flow and grace. That seems to be the nature of things in the world I live in. We're taking the hard, difficult road to freedom is culturally ingrained in me. It is often not necessary, but who am I to go against the grain? We've all been inducted to this hall of linear living in time, in education, in our finances, in relationships, and everything associated with them. So many masculine energies and perspectives to live through. And then I feel a jolt in my stomach, some pain and anguish. And of course, fear can do that to anyone. I notice the distractions and I realize I must get back to my garden. It is rich, warm, and abundant. There is birth and rebirth. Then I start to remember that the Divine Mother lives in me. A spark in her is a spark in me. Her smile is my smile. Her strength and power, mine. Her wealth is a vault within me, ready to pour out into my hands when I signal readiness. Her creative power 
and intelligence to manifest my desires. And her love is ever present in everything, every aspect of this beautiful place and existence, every seed, every growth. She and I are one. Why do I feel separation now between us? More questions follow. Why do I feel I must trudge through life to get to her? Ah, then I realize she's right here, right now and always. The passage to the other side is through her. I take a few steps and I'm now in her lap forever, holding me, comforting me, giving me all the resources of love, of abundance, of power, dignity, and grace. You and I have a choice to make. It is difficult and as simple as saying, I am ready, mother. I surrender all my cares to you. I am yours. Have mercy on me. And then first, See your life change in miraculous ways. Be patient. It is an inner journey first. Where home is. Imagine waking up every day knowing that you're okay. That everything is in its rightful place. That you don't have to do anything to be. The garden has returned to its original state. It is beautiful, lush, peaceful, warm, and bright. Now, we came to the world through the mother. We walk on this earth by her grace, surrounded by her nature. We go back out of this earth through her again. She is our foremost supporter and well-wisher. There are so many aspects of the Divine Mother, and our own inner world opens as we experience her in those aspects. Our minds, with all its illusions, continue to do battle with the higher self until we are waking to higher levels of consciousness. In her many forms and symbols, we experience all beauty and fierceness. She's the passage home. It is a path of peace, of joy, of bliss, abundance, protection, tranquility, power, and grace. Now you and I know the world is changing and it is time to check where we are on this journey and where we must begin to connect with the divine first then everything else. As spirits navigating this human experience, we must yield to the calls to journey into the inner garden alone to commune with her, and when you are ready, you will hear her voice guiding you, protecting you. You will know that she walks every step with you, talks with you, and gives you all the assurances you need to expand your horizon. The sound of her voice is so loving, so sweet, and you feel your heart singing. This union is forever. She's calling you and I to the garden. That is so beautiful. A garden full of treasures being restored to its original state within us. It is nothing you've ever known. Yes, and I'll say it again. 
It is just beautiful. The true garden of Eden. Within you, her. That's what showed up in my reflection. I hope something in the story triggers a yearning in you to reach out. I said the tools being presented to you by an angel. She was sent by the mother. She's beckoning you to use the tools to create a path to her. And yes, it is easy. All you have to say is, yes, I am ready, Mother. I am all yours. Thank you for listening, for sharing, for subscribing. This is a bit emotional for me. Let's continue to build a community of women of power and grace. And remember always that you are the daughter of the Most High One. And I have links in the box below where you can connect, send comments, share. And also, if you're interested in having a one-on-one -on -one session with me or join our reflective platform, please choose the link below. I love you all. And I'll see you in a couple of weeks. And remember, you are the daughter of the Most High One. Blessings. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.